Hi, my name is Mark and I run Bloomsbury Flowers in Covent Garden. To make your Christmas wreath, you need a wreath frame, some sack moss, blue pine, and any decorations you want to decorate the wreath with, such as pine cones, maybe some cinnamon sticks, dried fruit slices, whole fruit. Before you start making the wreath, you need to cut the bits of pine down to size. And it's quite useful to grade them in different sizes, so you've got longer bits for the outside of the wreath and shorter bits for the inside. Then you need to wire all your decorations. Also, perhaps you want to get your bow ready to put on the end. You tie your string onto the frame. Uh, you've got your sack moss, it needs to be fluffed out a bit. So dig your hands in, drag out a bit and fluff it out and make a sort of mini sort of sausage of it. And then standing with the ring in front of you, you wrap the string around the moss slowly, moving the ring around in a circle, adding more moss so that at the end of the circle the ring is completely covered with the sack moss. Then you start with the pine, beginning exactly the same way as you did with the moss. Start with a couple of pieces, maybe one longer bit fanning out to the outside of the ring and a shorter bit on the inside. Keep going until you've completely filled the ring with blue pine. It's a little bit tricky at the end because you need to put the last piece of pine under the first bit. So next you need to start with your decorations. You can see I'm going to start with the pine cones. Push the wire through the pine. When you feel with your fingers it coming through the back of the ring, you need to bend that end of wire back into the moss so it's secure. And I'm putting these round in a circle, some towards the inside of the ring, some towards the outside, again moving the ring around and keeping the place where you're working in front of you. So when you, when you finish decorating your wreath, you need to look at it, hold it up, perhaps look at it in the mirror because that gives you a better view, and see which part of the wreath would sit best upwards. In other words, you're going to decide where you want to put your bow. I'm going to put the bow at the bottom of the wreath and then I'm going to make a little loop with some real wire at the top of the wreath to hang the wreath on the door.